Okay, so this is going to be about a six month review. We've had five loads through this kiln setup. Just a slight few changes since uh, part four video. We've kept with uh, two fans, turned out that uh, was sufficient. And then we keep the other two fans in the same spot down here. As you can see, we've added a supplemental heater. We did have some issues trying to get this uh, kiln above 145, uh, which was accomplished with just the kiln. So we put uh, this in. I'll put a link to this in uh, the description. This is a 220 volt um, outdoor patio heater. It's got a internal heat cutoff of I believe 180 degrees, so it worked well. We tried tried a couple just 120 volt um, small heaters, but they kept turning off with a heat uh, safety. So this one stays on. So I did have some comments and an email about the wiring. And I know the panel was on and was not able to show you the wiring for those who are hooking up their L53. So, okay, so the cable will go through here, obviously. And there's gonna be the connections. Okay, so uh, connections are gonna be on the right side. You'll see four through uh, 12 and then two neutrals. So up here is your neutral. This is gonna be, oh, I'm sorry, your ground, not your neutral. So this is gonna be marked ground. It is yellow with a green stripe. All right, and then we're gonna go into number four is your yellow one, it's marked number four. Solid orange, number five. Your brown into number six. Purple, number seven. Black, uh, yeah, that's number eight. They are marked. This is a bluish, number nine. Black. Number 10, you can see right there where it says 10. You got a few red ones then. So, red one right here, number 11, says 11. And then you're gonna have number 12. It's gonna be this big red power. Let's say 12. Red. It's written 12 out. Those all correlate with the numbers. Then you have another big red one that's going to go uh, into the right side neutral. They're connected, so it doesn't matter which one you put it in, but it's going to go there. These are going to be pre wired on the left. That helps anybody that is having issues. Here is your reset. Okay, if you have your compressor reset uh, for temperature, that's where you're gonna set it. And we'll go to the control box here. That's where I'm keeping some of the stock in our control room. Uh, if anybody wants beautiful Buckeye Burl, these are all kiln dried. But this is some of the stuff that, uh, this stuff I can dry in the kiln in probably seven days. So, all big, big two inches. All 
control box. That's what we got. So I put a supplemental uh, temperature and heat gauge. It seems to work out pretty well. Uh, we did have an issue where I had one, but it wasn't, the thermometer was not rated above 140. Kind of realized why I couldn't get above 140, but obviously this temperature was telling me otherwise. So this one goes up to uh, 300. All right, so here's gonna be the inside. We did have some issues uh, upon shipping, so if you're having issues with it not turning on, one thing we found was in here, some quality control issues with Nile. Nothing big, but that was um, off the, uh, the little um, part for the uh, capacitor. It's a running capacitor and it came off that. Push that back on. We did have a fuse go out at one point. So you have some fuses. All of those. And then there. So we had a two fuses go out since we've had this. One is a real small one that runs this. It's like half an amp. And then um, and then we had one of these go out. So uh, as far as wiring, you can come in here and here's gonna be come in through here. So This is uh, I'll walk down here. Okay, so neutral into there, yellow into number four. These are correlating the same. Brown to number six, purple number seven, black number eight, uh, number seventeen. This is going to be your wiring for your uh, exhaust vent. So that wires your exhaust vent. All right, over here, two whites for the neutral. Actually, three, there's a little one. Yellow. So they're all correlating numbers um, that are gonna be the same for inside the actual kiln unit. So you just match them up. If that helps anybody here. If you have questions, send me a message. And you can see pops right on and uh, runs no problem. This goes out. This is on a very small uh, half amp fuse. You got to order that. That's something you can really find, but I ordered it real, real easy. Um, so far, so good. Uh, I would recommend an extra thermometer. I do have a wireless one that I keep in the house as well with humidity. Um, and everything is running smoothly. So, good luck, everyone. Any questions, put in the comments. Shoot us an email. If you're looking for Buckeye Burrow or olive, nice big olive pieces, small olive, root burls, Bastogne walnut pieces, shoot us a message. You can also go to our website, bateswoodworking.com.